All right, so I want to get back into uh, putting some videos out here on the YouTube site. Um, also to go along with the IoT This Week podcast. So I thought a great place to start uh, or to get back into this would be to show some modifications I've done to FirmWalker. Um, so if you don't know what FirmWalker is, it's a bash script I put together at least a year ago now. Um, and also I had some other folks out there on the internet who made some additions and um, enhancements and so forth to it as well. So I want to show a couple of things. Um, like I said, I uh, made a, an addition to the FirmWalker uh, script, shell script, so that it'll do a little bit of a little bit more um, sophisticated um, certificate search searches um, that we'll be able to use in uh, searching for devices with those same certificate serial numbers in uh, Shodan. So just to get started with, um, this is the part of the um, firm, firm Walker file that I made changes to. And it's basically this part right here. Um, so basically what I'm doing now is when uh, Firm Walker goes and it finds like a certificate file, it's going to try and um, do the OpenSSL commands to try to output the serial number of that particular cert. So in essence, what you'll be able to do is copy and paste um, that serial number in the Shodan, and then it'll basically show you how many other devices out on the internet that Shodan's found um, that are running that same certificate because one of the issues with IoT devices is that these things are produced and then sold out on the market, and they all have the same um, SSL certificate on there. So that's not good. Um, all right, so... So yeah, so we've got the FirmWalker file here. These are the modifications I made to it. Um, if you happen to be looking, um, FirmWalker's out on GitHub. And this is the site right here. You can see it's been a while since I've updated it. Um, one of the things I have added recently, um, there's a link right here. Um, any example files that I may talk about in videos and so forth, they'll be out here. Um, and I'll add the, I'll add anything I talk about here in the video out there as well. I think the squash FS, um, I think this is the file system I'm using already as part of this example. Um, the only thing that's not out there is actually the output from FirmWalker um, for this particular firmware, which is um, from Ubiquity. So basically uh, what we'll do, um, just so you can see how this thing works. Um, we'll have to go out here. You just um, open up a command window um, and change directory. Actually, I need to change directory into uh, FirmWalker directory that's on the desktop. And then we can simply um, run FirmWalker. And like I said, we're running we're running this against a extracted file system from a Ubiquity device, um, which actually it's running against um, this particular folder right here. And then what it's going to basically do is output this um, file to um, xc.txt, and we'll have a look at that um, after it's done. All right, so it's pretty quick. It just runs through all this stuff, gathering um, various information. And it, I mean, you can look on GitHub and see, just look at the script and see what all kind of things it's um, detecting or discovering. Um, and then once it runs, this is the output. And you'll see here, this is the top of the file. Um, it's looking for like password files, um, shadow files, certificate, various certificate files like CRT. You'll notice here it's found some of these things. Um, it's looking for um, anything that's got the word admin in it or password. Tell, it's looking for telnet stuff. Um, it's looking for binaries. Um, especially like on IoT devices, a lot of a lot of these devices run Dropbear and BusyBox and that sort of thing, and it basically gives you the location of those things. So anyway, I'll do a video later video um, just to refamiliarize everybody with uh, FirmWalker. But the things I've added um, this go around, 
Um, like I said, it's actually doing a find um, for like uh, .crt files, for example. So one of the things I've the code I've added to the bash script, the shell script, is um, for it to once it finds the CRT file, it's actually going to run OpenSSL against that CRT file um, to see if it can determine a serial number. So you can see here uh, we've done a couple of things. So we've determined the serial number of this particular cert that's on this ubiquity device, and we also um, outputted the actual um, text that's actually in this, this CRT file. And you can see that part right here uh, just by running the cat command. All right, so the thing I wanted to show you guys, all right, so that's this is a new part. This is a new enhancement um, to FirmWalker. I mean, it's nothing uh, super sophisticated or anything. It's just you could do this all by hand. Um, I mean, before you'd get this file, but then you'd have to go get the, cert, the CRT file, uh, find it, and then just run OpenSSL through the command line. But I've tried to <coughs> make this a little easier and just kind of output it um, right away. So the thing you can do now, like I said, you can take this, um, the serial number for this particular certificate that's on this ubiquity device. Um, you can go over here to Shodan. You can see here, this is one I was running. Um, this is a different serial number for a certificate. There's like 61 devices. But if you put this particular one in, copy and paste that to there, let it run its search. And now you'll see there's 102 devices, 102,000 devices um, out on the internet that Shodan's found that are all running the same certificate. So basically what this means is, is if somebody's able to get the private key, which I think actually the private key, I can't remember, I don't, the private key may actually be on um, the device. Because I know one of the things FirmWalker did find is did find a dot .key file. So I'm not sure if that's the key, I forget. Um, but anyway, if it is, that basically means um, any of these 102 thousand devices can basically be compromised um, just by knowing that private key so again like I said that's uh, bad when all these things have the same cert and I'm sure um, folks have seen this out on the in the news and, and everything there's been various reports on um, devices running the same certificates um, yeah like I said it's just not good um, so yeah, so that's about it for now. I just wanted to go over those couple of quick things. Again, uh, example files are right here um, on this uh, Microsoft, the OneDrive share. Um, there'll also be more enhancements coming to this thing. Um, and uh, see if there was anything else I wanted to go over. Um, again, this X, this is output file from FirmWalker. This is the shell script. Oh, one other thing I did add, um, if you've been using FirmWalker in the past, um, there was a dot, the dot .key extension. Um, this is something I found on this particular um, firmware file, but I've actually added it into the, um, the data files um, that contain the file extensions that you feed into FirmWalker um, to look for um, through the file system. But anyway, other than that, uh, that's about it for this go around. Just wanted to make this real quick. Um, but yeah, um, have a great day and we'll talk to you later.